Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Go on. Oh. All right. Any requests? Oh, that's a rare one. <laughs> Oh, it's, I tell you what, it's okay. Let me, let me, I'll play you. Uh, there we go. Let's see, so when you're on the mountain, you haven't got any of this. So I think we could play without, and I'll move around. Sure. This is how when we, when we go up on the mountains, and uh, we've done a few, and uh, we've got we're already planning a big adventure. Which is going to take us all through the canyons of North America, Grand Canyon, Rice Canyon, Simon Canyon, and taking their musicians and supporters, singing wherever we go. It's all with acoustic guitars and raise our voices loud. tonight see the film and uh, I, I, I'll sing you a song that this is literally how we, we a song we wrote to sing in the mountains uh, we were going to uh, our trek on Everest back in 2007 and um, we needed a theme song to sing on the mountain and when, when you go to sing at altitude uh, why we take so many musicians is 
when you get the altitude, you can't hold your breath long enough to sing a complete song, unless you're a Sherpa, of course. And uh, so I needed to take Cy Kern in from the fix of me because he could sing, Len Tilbrook from Squeeze because he could sing, Slim Jim Fanta from the Stray Cats because he could play drums and he could sing. <laughs> because he's like he was like the Fonz on the you know we, you know you, you see you know the Fonz right? Yeah. Well, we all train we all got off the plane and, and we've all done all kinds of training to climb Everest. And Slim Jim gets off the plane and he goes. Right, guys. <laughs> Which way's the mountain? You know, and we go. Have you, have you done any training? He went. I walked a dog in the Hollywood Hills. <laughs> <laughs> How hard can it be? I mean, he's in for a shock. Yeah. So anyway, we head off into the mountains, and I'm like going, <sighs> climbing up to this first peak. Slim Jim's waiting at the top. Where have you been, Peters? <laughs> and we, and we, we, we go, we're at like something like 16,000 feet and all our mobile phones and communications are all cut off now. The only way is global satellite communication. And uh, I come out, we're in the Gorak Chef and I come out on the, into the, into, uh, outside the tents and where we were staying. And, and yeah, just trying to get the loved ones on the phone and the, the, the satellite phone has, has only got a few seconds to get out to, to beam our podcast and for nothing. Slim Jim's on his phone. Right, darling, how's it going? <laughs> Only the Fonz's mobile phone would work at altitude, and Slim Jim Phantom had that. We, that's why he was on the trek, because he brought the spirit of the Fonz with us. But everyone brought something to c- contribute, but mainly uh, it was voices, so that when you sing a couple of lines and you were about to gas rest, you could look over at Glenn Tilbrook and he'd take over. And uh, and it, it was it's amazing how music... Um, energized us all on the mountain because uh, we, we were climbing up to uh, the um, uh, Kalapatar was the peak we'd, we'd identified that if we got to the summit of that 18 and feet and played a gig it would be the world's highest gig as you can see in the film and uh, just before we set off to do that last climb and uh, we had Jake Norton with his great mountain uh, cl- summit here he'd summited Everest three times he was there when they, f- they found the mythical body of George Mallory on the mountain. And uh, he told some amazing stories. And he, he, he really gave us a great speech, sent us up to the mountain. But Glenn Tilbert was so ill climbing Everest because he, he'd been sneakily drinking his whiskey in the mountain, which he wasn't supposed to be doing. But he liked the whiskey, so he did. So God bless Glenn. So anyway, we're climbing up Calipatar. And we, we, he'd take five feet like this. He'd be like, oh. And he'd be sick. <laughs> and then he'd go, another five feet. He'd be sick. Oh, I've got to sit down. He'd be sick again. He'd stand up. And it, it took him an hour to get from here to the far end of the cinema. <laughs> and then I said, right, Glenn, we've got to do the gig. He goes, oh, I'm so ill. I said, here's your guitar, Glenn. He goes, okay. And he goes. <laughs> and he's Chuck Berry and across the mountainside on Everest. He's the first person in history to do do the Chuck Berry duck walk <laughs> in the highest place you could possibly get to. And uh, this is a song that we recorded uh, in uh, in Kathmandu before we set off on the mountain. And it gives its name to our charity just like strength did.
down here, my name's Carrington, very well. Thanks to Jonathan here. Thank you, Mike. Thank you guys all for coming, spread the word, and go out and swab. Yeah, get on the list, save your life Thank tonight. You Thank you. Thank you.